back with yet another video. This is for all my silver surfer friends who wanted me to teach them how to make the stew. Okay, so I have all the ingredients here. Let's take a look. Okay, now I have this bowl of uh, potatoes, boiled potatoes. This makes about two cups. Then I have uh, taken three onions. Uh, a few pieces of ginger cut into julienes, uh, six to seven green chilies slit and two sprigs of curry leaves. This is all we need. Okay, so let's get started. Into this, into my pot, I'm going to add some oil. This should be about one tablespoon, two and three tablespoons of oil. Okay. We wait for the oil to warm a bit. Then into this goes the onions, the green chilies and the ginger. Okay. Now we saute this over medium flame for about 5 to 10 minutes. This is all it needs to saute, okay? Just for about 5 to 10 minutes and then we turn off the flame and we just cover it and keep it. Now I am going to show you how to extract the coconut milk. Okay. Now I have taken, grated the coconut and ground it already. So I have taken 3 cups of grated coconut. This is a cup measuring 250 ml and in this cup I have taken 3 cups of grated coconut, added 1 and a half cups of water and ground the mixture nicely. Now I am going to show you a very easy method of extracting the coconut milk. We just take a, a very porous cloth, pour it over a bowl and then add your ground coconut into that. Okay. In goes the ground coconut. We add a little water, just a little water to take the remaining coconut off from the blender. this gather the cloth from all sides hold it and this is how the milk is extracted it's a very very easy way of extracting milk not messy and you get the full milk from the grated coconut grated and ground coconut and that's it and this goes back and we have the coconut milk. Now let's go back to the pot. We have the sorted onions, ginger and green chilies. Into this I add the cooked potatoes. I add one cup of water. and give it a boil for about 5 minutes. Okay, now the onion, potato, green chili and ginger has cooked for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now what's important here is you need to make sure that your onions are soft, okay? And they are not crisp. So when you touch them, they should be soft. That's the way you will find out whether this is ready. Okay. Now that this is done, into this goes the coconut milk. So that's the coconut milk. We give it, we give it a boil 
just a boy and nothing more. Yeah, the stew is boiling. Just give it a good stir and boil it just for about a minute or two, not more than that. You can see the bubbles come up. This is the time to turn off your stove. Okay, once the stove is turned off, we add salt to the stew only in the end because sometimes the Coconut milk tends to get curdled if we add the salt earlier. Okay, so we're going to be adding about a teaspoon of salt into this and give it another good stir. Okay, then last of all, you add a sprig of curry leaves and a spoon of coconut oil. That's what gives it a very distinct flavor. Okay, so just add a a teaspoon of coconut oil and your stew is done. So this is potato stew for all of you and uh, it's made with thick coconut milk. I haven't added any thickening agents like a corn flour or a maida or anything. So it's very nice pure coconut milk and this goes very well with appam. And those of you who can't make an appam, believe me, it goes very well even with your bread. Something like a multigrain bread, a brown bread, whatever. It goes really well with that. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And uh, I hope all the silvers will make a stew one day and post it back to me. Thank you.